Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after conquering Alto Aragon from Navarra. Today, I think we'll work on unifying our land a little bit, which of course means that we need to go to war with the Kasid, not to be confused with the Kasid, or something. I'm not sure if I'm saying those names right. In any case, I think we might want to do that soon because we have mercenaries hired, so... Yeah, and that's going to last for us for another 20 months. Not too bad. If I want to extend that, though, that's going to cost us more than what I have. So, yeah. All right, before I do that, though, in between episodes, I said that I would actually give away the County of Alto Aragon, but I think I'll actually hold on to that and maybe give away one of these holdings instead. Because I think we might be able to benefit from having these more than we have... Uh, down here, right? So these guys don't hate me. I know we have a couple of uh, people who hate me here, but they've been stuffed inside of someone else, so I think we should be okay. Alright, well, before I give those territories away, um, Swinthilla, I think you're going to be a candidate. I'm going to... I guess they're all kind of greedy, aren't they? Except for this guy, who's generous. Um... Hmm... Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll actually go with Mahmud instead, because... No, you know what? I'll go with Swinthila. Sure. Before I do that, though, I need you to get married to someone who is incapable of birthing children. Um, so let's see. Not my mother. Oneka? I guess? Sure. And you both gain prestige from this. Fantastic. What if I go with matrilineal? I'm assuming you are lowborn, so... Okay, so I guess they'll both be lowborn. Fine by me. Fantastic. And once you've accepted, I'll give you a... Either one of these, I think. Um, does it matter which one? Let's give away Minorca. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Alright, so... I'm just gonna wait until that guy's responded, and then we'll go to war. Of course, we have a dangerous faction building up in nine months, so... We might want to wait for that to trigger first, maybe? Mmm, so Bitha, Minorca, Seville, and Mallorca. Gotcha. All right, and you guys are now married. Fantastic. All right, sir. Well, I'm going to gift you the county of Minorca, so enjoy. Fantastic. All right, um, so that means we get to hold on to this, and I think I'll just, um, yeah, I may need to eventually give away parts of Aragon or Navarra, but I think... Hmm, I'm thinking maybe we should start working on this guy's stuff too. So obviously I can't just go to war with him right now. But I can press a claim for it, or rather uh, buy a claim for it. Um, so that one or this one? Oh, they're two counties. I see. Um, either that or we try to fabricate a claim maybe by... Uh... I guess, but that's going to cost us money, right? Alright, well, let's not worry about that guy right now. Maybe we'll just work on this guy for now? Or should we wait until the uh, thing has finished off? Um... Now, you're allied to that guy, and... Are you currently leading troops? You are here. Oh! Okay, so maybe now's a perfect time to attack this guy, then. All right, sure. Um, who's that? Kalatrava. So hopefully nothing to worry about. All right, nine months. Do we wait or do we just go for it? We have the mercenaries for another 20 months. You know what? Let's just go for it. Um, hopefully this won't come to bite me in the ass, but I guess we'll see. And I think we're good to go, right? Yes. Fantastic. All right, troops. Um, you're not sieging that down, are you? I'm hoping not. All right, um, I guess it doesn't really matter where they raise from, do they? No. Wow. We already have almost all of our troops uh, gathered around. Fantastic. So we'll have a total of um, 2,300. Not bad, I guess. Not bad at all. Who's this? Mercia. Oh, right, right. Another uh, third-party uh, Royal Rumble, courtesy of my uh, liege. 
All right, so let's just leave some troops behind and move on. Hopefully, we won't come to blows with this guy, but we may need to. Or maybe not. Um, can you not do this, please, guys? Oh, you're part of that, guys. Oh, there we go. I see some of his troops, so maybe we can try to go this way then. Yeah, let's see if we can maybe tussle with this dude. And then gain some war score that way. Fantastic, and he is not walking into my trap, but rather buggering off to parts unknown, which is obviously a big no-no. Alright, while that's happening, go ahead and let's get a siege leader? What happened to my siege leaders? Be they dead? Um... Oh, wait, not Swinthilla, but rather we'll have an organizer... And we'll put Swinthilla in here. There we go. That should hopefully liven things up a little bit. And this guy's buggering off to parts unknown. Can you stop buggering off, please? Um, I don't know if that's going to involve the neutral third party, so I'd rather not, thanks. Good grief. On the march, at the end of the field exercise, it had seemed a brilliant idea. To practice regrouping an army in disarray, I split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their way towards Tudela. Of course, by the third day of waiting, but with only half of my army in place, I am now seeing flaws in the plan. Fortune suggests I ride out with my with a contingent of uh, Faris to find the missing troops while the rest of the army returns home. Alright, sure. If I can get a martial livestock perk out of this, then why not, right? Okay, so can you stop Trapes and Voucher? When my outriders brought news of the little encampment, I did not expect to find the soldiers still practicing their battle formations. It seems that my nephew Saad uh, took it upon himself to continue the field exercises while waiting for a word from the main army. His troops line up neatly as I ride up to meet him. Okay, so I can berate him and then lose a bit of opinion. Or get overworked soldiers, which reduces our advantage for uh, by two for five years. I would rather berate my nephew. Thanks. Hmm, sure. I could also get you to convert, and then that would hopefully get rid of the negative malice. Um, I think we're fine though. Wait, was there someone that I meant to convert? I think so, right? I forget whom though. A handsome man. Oh, so he's got the congenital trait. Interesting. Alright, I guess we might as well. And we'll get you to convert, and then maybe we can uh, breed this um, uh, bloodline out to uh, someone else once he's converted. Fantastic. Alright, sir, I'm gonna find you a spouse in the form of... Ooh! Oh, wait, no, she's um, infertile, yes? Ah, uh, dang it. Ooh! An albino. Interesting. Stuttering, nope. Um... My mother? Oh, right. I guess we need to look for fertile people. Gotcha. Okay, um... I could marry you to Wenza, but I don't know if there's any uh, real point to that. Because I'm assuming she's still stooping my brother, yes? Hmm... Alright, well, I think we might as well do someone, right? Or does it not matter? Hmm... I would like to... I wonder if we can actually breed a dynasty of uh, albinos because I think that could be pretty cool all right well why don't you marry her then and make some babies together you are lowborn they're both lowborn so I guess we're good oh nice sure go for it kids go for it make some handsome albinos please fantastic and let's get your ass converted as well sweet and then I think I might actually just give this guy some territory as I'm passing through a small village, I notice that, to, uh, though clad in simple cloth, the town's guards are all carrying weapons with my mark on them. Welcoming me in the muddy street was Ordonio, the self-proclaimed divine guardian of the town. My soldiers laid down their armor to help this preaches serve Allah? This preaches? What is a preaches? Like, is that meant to be a preacher? Did they make a typo? Wow. Alright, so... I already ruled by Divine Right, so I can gain some prestige and get self-declared Divine Right, so lose theocracy of vassal opinion by 10 for 5 years, which isn't too bad. 
Um, abandon the search. Or he loses opinion. I spend piety and then I become stressed a little bit. Or join me, preacher, and we'll enact Allah's will together. So Ordonio will join my court. Um, I mean, his prowess is not bad. So you know what? Sure. Let's do it up. That seems to be a fairly decent uh, outcome. So great. Approaching a lake, I spot a camp pitched on its shores. As I enter, I'm met by the sergeant in charge. My lord, our water uh, stores leaked while on the move, and our pack animals can't uh, can't be milked anymore. We tried milking this dog, but all we got was like weird bits of um, stuff coming out of its uh, little little uh, long uh, nipple thing. Oh, that's a dog penis. Oh shit! What have you been drinking all this time? Apparently, dog jizz. Anyways, and our pack animals cannot make the uh, march home without more water than we currently have. The soldiers looked at me nervously. If the Lord and his uh, Faris helped carry the water skins, however. Alright, so I can lose some prestige, gain stress because I'm sed sadistic, or desertion, which reduces my thing in my jig. Um, you know what? Let's just spend the prestige and stress. Sure. Now, stress, um, I don't think we need to worry about too much. We can just execute people to, um, gain that back. Or lose stress, rather. And I guess I can't imprison, or, um, ransom you. Now, this guy, you know what? I'm going to negotiate your release, and I'm going to recruit your ass. Sure. Fantastic. And what about this? Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's not worry about this guy. We could execute him. Um, oh, right. This guy's going to be upset about the whole situation, which I don't really care about. What about this guy? You actually have family members? You do. Right. Um, then Abbas. Abbas, I'm assuming, will be completely untethered. Yes. Fantastic. Alright, um... And he's not gonna be not angry... Oh, wait, that angry thing is actually going up, isn't it? Or is it not? I... Th I'm actually not entirely sure. He would make a great marshal, but I don't know if we're ever gonna be able to uh, get him to like me, so... Whatever. I can hear an absolute ruckus coming from a roadside tavern. Apparently, they're playing uh, CK2, but with the music turned up real loud. One of my furries uh, kicks open the door, revealing a room full of um, people uh, playing a, in, a, in a LAN party. Shit, remember those fucking LAN parties when you used to uh, bring your entire PCs to a friend's place to uh, jack up? I mean, um, to uh, play multiplayer games together? Yeah, that was fun. Um, anyways, my rival makes them uh, fall silent and stare down into their tankard with nary a word between them. The proprietor narrows her eyes and says, So, you're responsible for this rabble. Alright, I guess I'll pay the 20 buckaronis. Sure. And... Whoa, he actually likes me now. Fantastic. Alright, good sir. Um, you might actually make a good replacement steward. Yeah, I might just replace him right now. Hmm, of course he'll get upset about that, but we can always just revoke his title and then... Give it away to someone else. Um, for now though, maybe we're alright. Yeah. Let's actually get that guy who's uh, intelligent married off. So not you, good sir. Unmarried. And, um... Maybe we might want to get Mukhtar married too. Court Imam. Herculean Court Imam, really? Um, I guess maybe I can give you a title and then make you my own? Whoa, we might want to do that actually. Oh, Gebhard, it's you that I need you to, um, get married to someone. Let's see. We do want to pass this on. Now, Strong isn't congenital, so I guess we don't need to worry about that. Um... Hmm... Not a lot of great options. What if we look for someone who's lustful? Someone who is really fertile. My sister. I mean, I guess we could. Um, though, I don't think my sister's really going to be able to make babies for very long, is she? I do wish I knew what their fertility level was. Okay, um, ignore her. Alright, what if we go for someone who's a little bit younger? Hmm, and who is not chaste. Alright, going by age, we have this girl here. 
who is decidedly not chased, thankfully. Yeah, maybe we'll go with the uh, young lass. Sure, why not? Go for it, kids. Oh, I did matrilineal marriage, didn't I? Oops, my bad. Does it matter? I don't think it does, does it? I'm pretty sure they're both lowborn, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he may not have been lowborn, as it turns out. What? Oh no, this is someone else. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. That's where uh, she's from. Okay, so you... Oh, they're both lowborn. Fantastic. All right, well, uh, hopefully you don't feel so malnourished anymore. The last of my troops have made it back to Tudela, and order has been restored. Um, and this guy appears to be kind of moving towards back here, so we might want to just leave some troops behind and go reinforce. Um, though this was hardly a display of military brilliance, I have gained a new res uh, perspective on my army and the individual soldiers of which it is composed. Fantastic. Alright, so let's get, um... Hmm... Organized march, but that only affects me if I'm actually leading troops, right? At least I'm pretty sure. Or does it not matter? I need to actually look this up. Um, because I want to know if this actually only affects our team or our troops if I'm leading troops or if it just affects my entire um, thingamajig. Alright, but we also might want to uh, switch our focus back to learning. Um, courtship. No, let's go for knight effectiveness. Thank you. Now, if we were to switch our focus, do we want to maybe go with something that's learning? Hmm, I mean, we would experience fastest growth with learning, so maybe? Hmm, do we need these? Not necessarily, but I think we might want to anyways. Or do we want to go with full of body stuff? Um, or intrigue? I know the early perks are fairly important, or are fairly uh, powerful. Hmm... Don't lose piety or clergy opinion from torturing or executing others. That would be pretty cool. Alright, I think maybe... Hmm, I guess as a vassal, we might want to invest in some uh, schemer stuff. Otherwise, diplomacy... Possibly... Befriend or groom to rule. Stewardship. Golden obligations would be nice. Claim thrown against your liege. Interesting. Alright, well, besides profit, I don't know if there's anything else that we need to necessarily get from um, the learning lifestyle. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe... Hmm... That would speed things up a little bit for us, which may not be a bad idea. Or stewardship, and then we can get goblin obligations. But I think um, if we do switch over to another one, we might want to just get a um, couple things and then move on. So maybe we should just go with learning. Yeah, maybe we'll just go with learning for now. So let's go for the theology focus, I guess, or scholarship. Um, hmm. I think we're okay for piety, right? I mean, we could certainly speed this up a little bit, but I don't think we're in any rush to uh, gain more piety, so... Let's go for... Yeah, you know what? We'll go for the uh, scholarship focus. Sure. And then we'll be sure to um, jack up our development while we're at it. Once our Paul Rudd has finished his uh, conversion of the culture there. Okay, back to this. Sorry about that. Um... Alright, so Saladin is in fact leading troops, which is fantastic, and this guy's getting a little bit closer. And you are... my liege, so I'm hoping that you won't interfere with my plan here, good sir. What if we were to get these guys to attack them there? I'm assuming we would lose, right? And I'm guessing you're moving towards my capital? Right, he might just be taking, um, like a really roundabout way of getting there. Alright, let me station besiegers. Um, we don't need all the fucking men-at-arms to be there, guys. Uh, we'll take the other men-at-arms and we'll leave the levies. Um, how much of an army do we need to leave? At least 250, so that's not going to be nearly enough, is it? 
Okay. Um, so I guess also leave some camel riders? Sure. So if we were to attack these guys... Um... Well, let's see what they do first. Maybe they'll move towards my capital, which will make defeating them a little bit easier. Nope, they are buggering off to parts unknown. Can you stop buggering off, please? Alright, we might want to hit them there. Uh, let's leave... Actually, switch you out with my brother. Wait, who can't get there before... What? Okay. Um, I may have buggered that up a little bit. And let's put, um, our siege leader there. Alright, sure. At least we'll still win, right? Hopefully, at least. Yeah, I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. And our mercenaries will expire when? 15 months from now. Fantastic. Oh, that is close. That is real close. Hmm... Let's put my nephew in here, then. Sure. Now, please don't lose this. Whatever you do, alright? If it seems like you're about to lose, then just maybe... I don't know, um... Eat a whole can of beans and fart in the face or something. Assuming that they're deathly allergic to, um... Gas being passed out of someone's colon. And it seems that we're actually losing this, surprisingly enough. Fuck me. Uh, we might need to abandon this and... Go help with this fight, because otherwise that's going to screw our plans up a little bit. Alright, good. Go reinforce, and you guys are working on that. Sure. Um... Before you go, though... Let's get the onagers to move by themselves. Sure. And go reinforce now. Though it seems that we might just barely win this fight. Yeah, okay. We've actually won this, surprisingly enough. And my liege also won his war. Well, Mazel Tov, liege. And we're about to get hit by another stack of these dudes, so that's not great. Alright, go help them out. Because I think they're going to need it, unfortunately. Alright, um... We might not get there until they get hit. And hit pretty hard, unfortunately. Though, it does seem like we... Might actually win this without any help? Really? Alright, well... Good for you guys. Uh, so I'm kind of holding my breath so that, um, you know, maybe we could actually... Well, maybe not. Because we can, but... Um, I was hoping that by holding my breath, I could actually uh, get the uh, dude to get imprisoned by my troops, but sadly it didn't work out. Um, I don't think this guy's anything special, right? No, he is not. Alright, thank you, Paul Rudd. Um, you've converted my county, so hopefully that increases the average development score. I don't think it did. Unless maybe it takes time to process? Doesn't seem like it. What about these places? Do we need to work on their conversion? Development here is garbage. Alright, fine. Mmm... Then I'm thinking maybe we should just hold on for now. Yeah, let's not worry about uh, spreading culture more right now then. Okay, so we've captured that county. And here comes the rebellion. Mmm, sure. Alright, so where are you? You are all on my islands and Seville. Gotcha. Um, depending on where they go, we might want to... Ooh. He captured a gremlin. Uh, a gremlin with the bubonic plague? Um, okay, well, I would rather not deal with this gremlin, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ransom this thing. Good grief. And we'll see where this guy goes with his troops. Um... Hmm... But if they could also move towards my capital, that'd be awesome. Alright, let's see where they go from here. They are moving down there, so I'm assuming they're actually moving towards Seville. Gotcha. Uh, let me go head up your troops again. Sure, and hopefully our siege force will be enough to deal with that. Actually, before you go... Um... How many troops do we need to leave behind? At least 250? Alright, so let me reorganize this again. 
take the pikemen, the camel riders, and the bowmen. Uh, leave some levies behind. We need at least 250, so I think that should be good. Unless we incur some more casualties, and that causes us to uh, dip below 250, which is entirely possible, of course. To the gallant Emir Lope, my name is Egino, and I'm a trained physician uh, specializing in issues of fertility. Perhaps my discreet counsel would benefit my lord. I would be honored to serve for a nominal fee. Um, you're not exactly an amazing doctor, are you? I don't care, and I'd actually rather not have any more children. Which makes me wonder if perhaps we should get rid of my wife. We may want to, actually. You know what, let's go for it. Sure. And... Oh, right, right, you've converted uh, Najera. Fantastic. Alright, let's work on you converting some more stuff, please, if you don't mind. Uh, Seville. Yes, please. Okay, so he's most likely going to go out uh, get to my capital, but I think we'll be able to uh, beat him off before he actually sieges it down, so... Hopefully, at least. What? May you be sewn up alive in the belly of a dead camel. Your occupation of lands which rightfully belong to me can no longer be tolerated. It is time that I see them return to my possession. Are you fucking serious? Okay, so I'm assuming with your ally, you've decided that you're strong enough to take me on. Well, um, if we can beat him off in about eight months, we should be okay. But otherwise, uh, yeah, we might want to head towards Seville now. Where is he going? Is he trying to take back Zaragoza? Is that what he's doing? I don't really understand him. Um, but I actually don't mind if they fuck around in Seville right now. We might need to hire mercenaries again, though, all things considered. Or should we just extend their contract now? We don't have the money for it. Never mind. Unless maybe we can ransom some prisoners? Uh, we cannot. You make me sad. Fine, fine, be that way. Alright, so he is locked into moving there, yes? Alright, let's go uh, beat them off then. And I'm gonna make sure that we have a better commander here, though. Um... No, Swinthilla, you should be here. Dude, what are you doing? Alright, brother, get in there. Fantastic. Let's do this. Annihilate, please. Oh, we lost an Echo. Damn it. And our mercenary contract is about to expire in five months. Gotcha. You're not leading troops there, are you? Oh, he's here. So we might be able to actually capture him if we win. Which we have. Fantastic. Okay, so normally I would like to uh, ransom this guy first and then um, squeeze him for all he's got. But considering the uh, many wars that we're now wrapped up in, we might want to just go ahead and enforce demands now. Sure. Fantastic. Um, and I think I'll just give away more of uh, Mallorca. So let me give away Ibiza. Let's see. Who wants Ibiza? I think... Hmm. Or should I just give this guy Mallorca itself? Um, I'm planning on making him my vassal, but he is 55 years old, so most likely he's not going to be able to live on for that much longer. Um, so I think I'll just do this. Give you Ibiza, and then make you my new court chaplain. Hopefully, at least. Because you're... Oh. Well, that is unfortunate. Um, then can I assassinate this guy, maybe? Revoke his title. Um... Hmm... Does not have revocable clerical appointment doctrine. Without such a doctrine, there's always a court chaplain or realm priest. Okay, so I guess if we... Fire or assign them once, that's it? We can't do it again? Well, that sucks a butt. Sadly. Um, but that's fine. We can maybe try to assassinate him or something. Alright, so Seville's about to be lost, but that's fine, because we never had much control here to begin with, so... Yeah... That is unfortunate, but it is what it is. 
And this guy's got two holdings, so I think we might be able to just maybe defeat him by uh, capturing these things. So we might want to prioritize the uh, Peasant Rebellion here. Mm, and we have five months left. If you guys were to book it towards Seville, how long would it take you? About four months? Oof. Okay, so we might want to gather around here and then head towards uh, Seville since this guy's coming in with his troops too. All right, well, uh, let's actually end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and uh, march our troops down south, go curb stomp them, curb stomp the um, Peasant Rebellion, and then I think we'll actually start expanding down in Seville too. Yeah, and then I can uh, finally give away all of uh, Mallorca. I forgot to get this guy married, by the way. I should have done that sooner, actually. Um, unless you're not willing to get married? Which I highly doubt. Okay, right. Oh, right, right. I couldn't have done that anyways, because, um... Hmm. Interesting. So I could marry you off to my sister. Yeah, I don't know if I necessarily wanted an alliance with this guy. But let's also get you converted, please. Um... Alright, well, he might ask me for some money. Damn it. Oh, maybe that's why we can't... Oh, no, no, that's not it. That's not why we can't um, replace him, is it? I don't know. Ah, it's fine. We'll figure things out as we go. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.